guys and girls and welcome back to Crusader Well, what am I going to be calling it today? Kingdoms, Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Crusader Kings as well. And I was just want to keep calling it Crusader Kings. No, welcome back to Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. We are picking up where we left off. In the last episode, we didn't really get up to a whole lot. We started semi-building a third army. I'm not even going to call it an army. It's pretty much just a garrison army that will move up and down the coast. Just kind of try and reinforce or slow down any other armies that decide to come knocking. It's not very big. It is literally just to kind of sort out um, Verona, which we took a couple of episodes ago, and to sort out their public order. Uh, it just saves me trying to keep one of these empire, uh, these empires, one of these armies on our coast, allowing us to expand a little bit more. Now, also, the Latin Empire did offer us a peace deal. We said, no way, uh, because we want to at least get something out of this, not 1,500 gold. So, we're going to be fighting this battle here. Uh, it might come and bite us in the butt a little bit, but you know what? I'm not too worried. They don't have a lot of uh, archers. They don't have any uh, siege equipment. I really do like the look of that knight, though. That looks pretty cool. So, we should be able to do this quite easily. Um... And we've got a lot of troops. We'll probably lose a few, but that's whatever. So once we've taken this, we'll offer the Latin Empire a peace deal. And we'll try and get as much money out of it as we can. Um, this will just give us a beachhead in for any future endeavours. If they decide to change and attack us, you know, like I said, we'll have something back. We can send that small garrison army that we've kind of got up in the north of Italy. And we can send it over here to garrison this, uh, sorry, to garrison this settlement. Pardon me. And then we can kind of probably build an army out of that. Maybe we'll see how things go. So yeah, so that's going to be the plans for today. And a bit of a gaze into the future as well. So, yeah, what are you? You're a skirmisher. Okay, cool. Uh, we're not going to do it in the rain? Or the rain? Oh, beautiful. The sun's out. Excellent. Now, the problem is... Excellent, we've got a nice area over here. I did not want to go straight on against their um, their towers, because they're, as always, towers are absolutely nuts. Oh, we've fought in this battle before. Come through here. Oh, it's slightly different, actually. Or is it? I'm not too sure. I don't think those were there. Anyway, we are going to be going straight on in. Uh, we've got a battling ram there. We're going to be using all our tricks and gimmicks. Uh, we don't need that, so that's okay. Now, we're going to go, you two land there, I think, would be a good idea. You two land there. You two are going to land there. Crossbowmen are going to move forward and just skirmish where we need to. Uh, cavalry is not going to be a whole lot of help at the moment. Uh, we're probably going to need to reinforce this side because it's going to be a bit of a more of a blob. So we're going to actually send in two spear units. Just in case they have cavalry around there and we need something with a bit more punch against them. Okay. We do have reinforcements coming in from over here, which is fine. Which we will wait. Oh, well, we're definitely not going to wait. I just saw that they got that there. So we're going to move in as quickly as we can. Okay, these guys will be hit by those towers there. I'm not overly worried to tell you the truth. Uh, let's move up. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, you can't shoot fire arrows. That's okay. We're going to rush up and pretty much try and snipe out these guys here. They seem to be aiming for... These men over here. Ooh. Not a moment too soon. The tide of battle turns I want to spread out. Favor. Okay. Okay, we're going to just move those guys through there. I will allow them to run. By the time I remember that they're there, hopefully they would have gotten back there. Fatigue. Okay. So this is where it's going to be a little bit interesting. Okay, that's already hit that. That's not good. Like I said, I'm really sending my uh, archers up forward. To try and take them out before anything else happens. Okay. 
So we do need to be careful, and I may disengage them, to tell you the truth. If they hit that one more time, we're just going to disengage them. Okay, disengage. And hopefully they continue focusing on that. If they decide to change targets... Like I said, I just don't want um, a tower to collapse. Because if a tower collapses, we're going to lose a lot of men. But you guys can kind of keep aiming for it. Yeah. That's okay. We're not doing too bad. Worst case scenario is they do take out this one. I just have to friggin... Ooh. Are they aiming for my men? Or... Anyway, the aiming for my man, that's okay. I can kind of just keep moving them around. And... Okay, they are actually aiming for my men. That's fine. We can just continue skirmishing here. I don't think we've taken out any of these men. That's absolutely horrendous. So we're on loose formation just to sort that out. Okay, we are moving in quite nicely there. That's okay. You guys come down there as well. Is that gate open? Oh, it's pretty much almost destroyed, which is fine. Okay, we're going to move these guys up a little bit forward. Uh, loose formation as well, just in case. Okay, at least they're not taking out too many of my men. Don't get me wrong, they are killing a few of them, but... I kind of wish I had archers, maybe. That'd probably be a little bit better. You know what? We're not going to be taking it out. We've been shooting at it. They haven't really done a lot of damage. So let's see if we can just take out some of these light spear infantry instead, I think. And they're not able to get a good shot on. Okay. We can actually get these guys out of... Ooh. Is that the cavalry? Okay, I moved my cavalry forward by accident. You guys stay there, that's fine. You guys move up. That's okay. So we're about to land almost completely, not really, but almost completely unopposed. Okay, we're going to move these guys up here, that's fine. Let's send you guys in. You guys shoot that, please. You guys move the hell out of there. Okay, we got some men up there, which is good. We should uh, land the rest of our troops. We'll probably hold one of you guys there. You guys sweep in through there. Once you guys have landed, we'll move in through there as well. And you guys moving in as well. No, you're not, but you can as well. Okay, now let's get everyone up there. Okay, you guys shoot them on the wall instead now. And once this gate's been destroyed, which I think should be any second now, we'll move these guys through the center. You guys are still holding out there, which is fine. I don't know if they're keeping a track on them. But for the time being, we're all good. Okay, we're all good. Let's move you guys down and support. Come on, you guys... Okay, we're about to break through any second. Okay, excellent. We're through. Let's push on through. Okay, we can actually pull back our crossbowmen, I think. We don't really need them anymore. Uh, congratulations, you guys push on through. We're just going to push these cavalry straight through the middle. Come around, attack these guys. Break, break, break apart, come around here and attack them. So we're going to use, yeah, the cavalry mainly to just push on through and take out the guys we don't really need. Okay, you guys go after them as well. Let's break these guys 
fleeing completely, so we don't need to worry about them. Okay, let's just actually push on through. So I don't want to lose them to these spear units. Okay, you guys going the right direction. You are, which is fine. Oh, you guys aren't hanging. I thought you guys would have been following him. Apparently not. You guys are having a bit of a break, which is okay. Their gates are ours now. Enemy troops are at the walls. Okay, come on. Push on three, guys. Uh, the militia are getting a bit of a beating. I'm going to have to move you guys forward again. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. It's only one unit. Still a lot of troops left, which is fine. We're going to break through here, which is okay as well. Okay. Excellent. Let's get in some place action. These guys should break pretty quickly. They're only archers. They are bringing around a heavy shock cavalry, which I do have to be careful of. We're actually going to peel off two of these units. Kind of wish you guys would actually get stuck in. We're going to go straight after those bodyguards. Excellent. We've accomplished everything we need here, which is okay. I don't know what they're shooting at, but that's okay. I don't know where these guys are going. Okay, let's do that. That's fine. We should be able to beat these guys. Uh, we're medium. I know they are heavy, but we do outnumber them three to one. We're actually going to pull these guys off. We're going to pull them around here. We're going to come around here, just so we're not charging uphill. You guys keep pushing, that's fine. Okay, what else have we got? What can we send in? Let's kind of just start moving in the rest of our army, I think. Don't know if these guys are still shooting. I don't know what they're actually doing. Okay, excellent. I am going to hold you guys off. Fire at will. I'm not even going to worry about that checkpoint. It's not going to help out a lot. Did they break off their general? No, we just probably can't see them anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to, as long as these guys don't move. Okay, they are. That's fine. We're going to now charge into them instead. That's just going to line up a nice charge. Excellent. Okay. These guys peel off and start moving up towards them. That's okay. Uh, let's take out these guys here, please. Did say hold fire at will, didn't I, for you guys? So please do that as well. Oh, they're still willing to fight. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, they're losing a few men. We're not doing too bad, which is good. We do have more experience, which is good as well. We're able to now come around here. It's mainly the general I'm aiming to take care of. Okay, once you break... Okay, you're out, screw it. So we're going to push on through. So this is what I kind of recruited these guys for, just because they're a bit closer. Um, they would be quite useful in an open battle, probably not so much siege battle, so this is where they probably won't be the greatest. Either that or even on the walls as well. Okay, their general is wavering as well. Let's just send everyone around here to try and capture them. That's okay. Yes, yeah, so they just get a morale boost, so it's not even a whole lot to tell the truth. 
So we're going to move down here and we're just going to start killing off the rest of them because like I said, there's no point capturing these victory points. They don't actually, they're not even victory points. It's just, like I said, they're almost pointless to tell you the truth. Okay, everything's accomplished there. Cool. Let's end the battle in case these towers decide to kill a few more. So, a nice decisive victory. We lost 340 men. Mainly the guys that went over first, which isn't too bad. They did some pretty heavy fighting. Uh, crossbowsmen didn't get a really good kill, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, uh, so we're just going to occupy. And now that we've occupied them, we're going to come here and say... You guys want a peace deal? You guys uh, can make a payment. 1800 uh, and a trade deal. We're going to see if we can get a trade deal out of that. No, okay. They're not going to accept a trade deal. So the trade deal's out. Um, okay, so let's see how much money we can actually get out of them then. Okay, they're not going to accept the highest amounts. Okay, so we're going to go 4,000 water. Okay, almost there. We almost got them. Uh, what about that? Excellent. So we got 3,800 gold out of it. We did get one regency, uh, one province out of it as well. Um, I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can get some the trade the deals state, with these guys. Welcome. Speak as Who are you at war with? Venice? Okay. So We're going to, like I said, just try and get as much money out of these trade deals as we can. Welcome, uh, I yeah, I didn't think that would occur, but that's okay. Uh, Shijik of the Rum. Uh, nah. Okay. You guys really don't like us. Okay. Why don't you Be guys welcome. like us? Ooh, they may trade. No, they won't. Why don't you guys like us? Military ac uh, action against the treaties with the Serbian and we're a great power. Okay, fair enough. Be welcome. County I of listen. Flanders? No. County of Be Savoy? I listen and speak. Okay, we've got another trade deal, which is good. Okay, so we're kind of surrounded by trade deals, which is good. We're going to bring in a lot of money. So once again, I think our next target will probably be... Uh, not Savoy, because we're actually allied with them. Well, not allied with them, but we got trade deals with them. Maybe Genoa, even though we are trading with Genoa. Uh, we're kind of trading with everyone, aren't we? The only people who don't like us is the Latin America... Uh, Latin America. The, La uh, the Latin Empire. We have nothing with the Kingdom of Hungary. I thought we did. I thought we had at least a trade deal with them. Uh, hmm. Maybe we look at expanding into... Well, we got there. We can actually expand into the Kingdom of Hungary. Uh, so we could always take split. And then move up and around. That would be actually quite a good movement. The Kingdom of Serbia are quite large. I just got to be a bit careful about that. So I think I'm going to... What are we going to do? First things first. We've got this army, which is fine. Let's get an additional household. You're not useful. So I'm not going to worry about you. Let's go commander and let's go trainer. Okay. We do have a few people here, there and everywhere. Sanitation's fine. Sanitation's fine. You got no one. You got no one. Like, I could probably put in governor but i just can't be bothered to tell you the truth okay we do have some money which is fine uh let's try and sort out okay everything else is looking pretty damn good 438 that's okay i'm not worried about that um squalor i will be because squalor is always a big big thing I think we're just going to leave it alone. I don't think I want to touch anything. We may get up uh, slowly a third army 
and we'll see how that goes. So let's just end the turn. Not going to appoint any more governors. I'm just going to be careful with that because I don't know if they can rebel. Because if they do, that would be a real pain in the ass. Just having random provinces rise up against you. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think for the time being, we just kind of replenish this army, get it on the go. Once this town has been settled, we move the garrison force down south, I think. Okay, public order is sorting itself out, which is fine. Uh, no, we're going to convert you. Let's convert you into a... Ooh. Let's get a ecclesiarchical domain. Okay, let's just build a castle. I think a castle will be a good place for a defense. Uh, we're going to demolish that. Sanitation plus one food agriculture will give us some sort of food, which isn't too bad. So, public order. Um, hmm. We'll hold on to that for a second. Squalor public order and a goat herd. We repair that, that will give us all the food we need. That will give us German nobles, cavalry, cavalry, early infantry, that's okay. Nothing from that. Don't really need more cavalry, but the public order wouldn't be too bad. But then the squalor, sorry, sanitation from that is quite good as well. I know it's only one, okay, you know what, we're going to destroy that as well. So repair that, repair that. And we'll leave things alone. We're going to continue going along here, like we said, just so we can get uh, physicians, uh, which will allow us to build better sanitation buildings. Okay. What are we looking at like up here? Can we move our troops out quite yet? Military, for, uh, military presence. Nine. So pretty much no. Unlawful territory. Does that mean... Oh, turns remaining. One. Okay, cool. So next turn we should be able to move these guys out. Okay, that's fine. So let's end the turn. Allow that to remove the events, which is fine. Um, and we should be able to do something with that. Like I said, I'll start moving these guys down and through and garrison them. And I think, like I said, we may look at attacking maybe the hungry Hungarian Empire. Or even, like I said, maybe... Uh, these guys over here, even though we've got a trade deal with them, it's just the most logical target to expand. Okay. Military is only five, everything else is fine. Uh, besides, of course, sanitation, so if we do that, that's okay. Uh... I think we're just going to demolish it. I think that's probably the best bet. Okay, towers and public order is fine. That's not too bad, because that's the most likely way um, Austria is going to attack for the time being. So that gives us a boost in tower damage, public order, and also a bit more of a garrison, which is okay. Uh, let's start moving you down here. Uh, we're going to move you guys to there, which is fine. We'll move you into there, which is okay as well. What's this settlement doing? Um, Catholic Chapel, which is fine. We are losing 200 gold, but that's okay. So public order is fine. Food is fine. It's just squalor as well. So let's get that destroyed again. Um... Oh, you can't destroy the jetty. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. What is the religion like in this area? Okay, it is orthodox. We can change that to Christianity. So we're going to actually do that. Which is fine. And that's going to take five turns to convert that building. Okay. Which is okay as well. Bringing in a decent amount of money, which is okay. 
probably could have recruited some more troops back over here, but that's okay. We could always swap them over and do things like that once they get there. Okay, we're going to end the turn once more, and we'll probably end the part after that. And we'll see how things go. Just keeping an eye on these guys. These guys are quite large. So the factions are slowly getting to the point where they're getting bigger now, because there is a lot of single city factions, and I think most of them have been absorbed now. So whenever we're going to go to war now, it's going to be against, I think, larger kingdoms, empires, whatever you want to call them. Consumption, where are you? Ah, uh, really? That's okay. Public order's fine there, which is okay. Mustering ground. Ooh. Crossbowmen, horses. Okay, but we don't want that. We want a leprosium, as always, just to get that sanitation under control. Okay, you guys get into port, which is fine. And like I said, we can always like uh, just convert, uh, sorry, transfer some of these troops over. What do we even have available? We got nothing, so we just got to be careful with that. Um, okay, we're just going to demolish that completely then. Well, we can actually convert it to a field. Uh, let's just demolish it. Just for the time being. We can't, We don't own this building. We're going to be making a bit of money out of the castle. We got a bit of food from the jetty. And we got this going here as well. So that's okay. Uh, you guys continue pushing up through there. You guys are slowly going to replenish in two turns, which is really good. Okay, so what do they have? They got two and a bit armies. Okay. So who are they? They are the Republic of Genoa. So if we come in and take Genoa, no, sorry, take Pisa and then move up to Genoa, that will leave just these guys down here. What are you? Republic of Pisa. I think you're the only settlement alive. Okay. Just seeing where we can kind of move in f the future. Once this public order is sorted out, like I said, we'll start moving um, this army back. So what we're going to do is transfer most of these troops to here. Send this small little garrison back to rebuild. So we'll have a full strength army here. Two eventual full strength armies here. We will then use those three armies eventually. We'll transfer these troops over and attack around here and do all that. So that's the plan. So as always, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for staying tuned this far. If you guys have enjoyed it, as always, smash that like. Leave a comment down below. And if you guys haven't done already, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So till then, bye for now.